hey guys welcome to this part 6 of simple to do application in this one we are going to create a form ui just like this so to get started for that we are going to go to the beautify website and then we are going to search for forms in this and and we'll go to this forms slash home and we'll be redirected over here and this is the form that I want to use. So we'll expand this and we are going to copy the V form. I'm going to create one more V row and inside V row, I want V calls and that two with columns equal to 12. Then we are going to paste the form that we copied and we are going to modify a few things. Let's start by changing this. We don't want to use validation like this. And yes, we need a lazy validation. And I'll also add one more class that will be text test center. So this will bring everything in the center. We'll remove the V models for now and even the rules. The counter will be 64 because that's what we have set in the backend and uh, instead of name we are going to give it a title and this is required then we don't have any email field or select field so we are going to remove both of them and we are again going to go to the uh, beautify website and scroll down to text areas and from here we are going to copy this I need a text area, v dash text area. We can ignore the name over here and this as well. We don't want to give some default value, so I'll remove that. And label will be description. And then I'm going to add one more field that is auto complete. This also will be description. So that was text area. And now we need a checkbox. So we'll remove the V model for this video and we'll add it in the next one. And I don't want any rules around it. And label will be is task completed. I don't want it to be required. It can be null. After this, we need two buttons. That is one is clear button to clear the form and other one is add button. So first of all, let's create the add button. I'll rename this to add and I'll remove the click function right now. And yes, I want the color to be success. I want it to be disabled, but then we'll do it in the next video. So right now we'll remove it and that will be the add button. And I'll move this add button after the clear button. And for clear button, we need this one. I'll uh, rename it uh, reset form to layer and I'll remove the click right now and MR and these are good to go and we'll remove the reset validation so I think this forms looks good to me and uh, let's run the server and check it out how it looks on the UI so it is npm run serve uh, let's browse this URL and yes this is how the form looks so this is it for this video. In the next one, we are going to add functionality in order to save the data from this and also clear functionality. So see you in the next one.